Is that a Cupra? It's a Cupra! I think Team Hard are taking this a little bit too seriously. Because I think they're preparing for World War 3. Hey there everyone, my name is Elliot Webber, welcome to the channel and today um, we're going to just be reacting to Team Hard's new Cupra. Um, of course as we know this is the first uh, team to reveal their car slash livery slash not a livery because it's just camo with pink on it. So can you really call it a livery? I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, so last night, Team Hard, a team in the British Touring Car Championship, they revealed their um, their car slash livery um, with Jack Goff and Aaron Taylor-Smith, two of their drivers. They, of course, also have Glyn Getty with them racing this year and a, t and a 2B uh, confirmed slash announced, which it's going to be Nick Hamilton, isn't it? Come on, let's be real. Unless Senna Proctor comes out of nowhere and just be like, hey, here's my cash and I'll take that seat. Um, but yeah, what do I think? Yeah, yeah, I mean, camo, I like it. I think I would have preferred it if it was matte and not gloss. Um, you know, I think if you're going to have a, a camo livery, then it should be matte and not gloss. But yeah, I'm not complaining. We've had our first camo livery. Yeah, I think this is the first ever camo livery in the British Touring Car Championship from memory. Um, so... It's something new. Team Hard traditionally would have sort of white, pink, and green um, to suit sort of their colours. But this time they've gone for clearly what is pink and camo. Um, whether the front will change, I'd imagine Jack Goff will have lime green as he usually does. Aaron Taylor-Smith, I'd imagine, will have green because he's Irish. Glyn probably will have blue because he's Scottish. And Nick probably might have red because he's got Rocket sponsorship if Nick is at Team Hard. Um, but yeah, um, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Um, I was a little bit shocked at first because I was like, is that just delivery? Is it just camo? Have they not got any stickers on? Like, I swear, Jack Goff, mate, you have, you have loads of sponsors. Why aren't they on the car? <laughs> um, yeah, um, it's a good livery. Very good. The car looks epic. I am going to be truly honest with you. I think that is probably the best looking car on the grid. I'm sorry, Hyundai. I'm sorry, BMW. I'm sorry, Honda. But that... Cupra is just moi. However, of course, we know uh, this isn't the first time we've seen Cupra on the grid. Um, it is, in fact, um, I think the second or th second time we've seen Cupra on the grid. Of course, we know Cupra is a part of the Seat brand, the Spanish uh, car manufacturer. Sadly, there is no backing from Cupra. I'm, I don't think I don't think Cupra or Seat are putting any backing into this. If I am wrong, do let me know in the comments below. Um, and yeah, so obviously the last time we saw Seat slash Cooper on the grid was in 2011 with Tom Boardman. Uh, from memory, Tom uh, ran, uh, I believe he was actually backed by Seat. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I think that was the last time, 2011. Damn, 10 years since we've seen Cooper. Uh, or actually, no, it was the Leon. And this is the Cooper Leon, which is still the Seat Leon. But, you know, branding and that. So, yeah. Anyway, anyway. Um, so, we know Cupra um, have had their experience in touring car racing. We, of course, know from Sayat that they raced in British, world, and European touring cars. We now know that they have, of course, expanded to Cupra, where they are racing in multiple TCR championships, racing in WTCR, racing in the European touring cars. Uh, I believe they also... Um, also They've had cars raced in in the in the Touring Car Trophy or TCR UK, um, and this is the first time that Cooper have have got an NGTC car, which of course we know is the um, is is the British Touring Car uh, regulations. Um, do I think Cooper? Do I think the Cooper should have been brought in a year later? Yes, because of course, as we know, um, BTCC are going to hybrid technology in twenty twenty two. Yep. Almost a 2021. Um, and yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Just a, a little reaction. Um, if there is a war that Team Hard are preparing for, I'm sure they'll win with that camo because um, I, I highly doubt we'll be able to see it on track. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, 
What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the Cupra TCR? TCR? What do you guys think of the Cupra NGTC car? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it meh? Are you just going to wait for the official full livery to drop when we get to see all the stickers and stuff on it? Um, good luck to Jack Goff. Good luck to Aaron Taylor Smith. And good luck to Glenn Getty. And of course, good luck to whoever their fourth driver is, which is probably going to be Nick Hamilton. Um, and yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.